so if you grew up in uh, fundamentalist households, you know, I grew up evangelical, how do you deal with isolation if you have no relatives who are Jewish? So all my friends and all my family are all Christian. So I'm kind of the black sheep. So I wanted to know if the rabbi had heard of this experience before and what he might recommend. I want you to just help me with this because I, again, want to make sure I understand your question. Sure. You grew up in the evangelical world. So your family, your friends, your whole social network, they're still evangelicals. Yes. You, you, you did tshuva. You returned to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you rejected all other gods, all other beliefs. Yes. And the result is that now you're isolated with regard to your friends and your family. Now, my dear sister, you understand why HaKadosh Baruch Hu came to Avram Avinu, Abraham, our father, a blessed memory, and he said to him, it's time to go. Lech lecho me'arzacho. Leave your land. And if you notice, Hashem goes on. Beis the house of your father, not enough. The place you were born, so much. <laughs> and he doesn't even tell us anything about where you're going. He says, only Ela'erz HaShareka, to the land I'll show you. It's a very big test. But in order to be close to me, it's time you have to leave. Look what it says. Open up Genesis 12. You notice the weight of it is your virtue and your repentance is no longer compatible with your old world. Your house, your land, your father's house, your friends, you have to leave that all. But that's very scary. And Hashem says it is scary. Hashem would have made it easier for Abraham if he'd said, I'm going to tell you, you're going to a place that's a holy land. Abraham was in Mesopotamia at the time. He was east of the land of Israel. But Hashem made it harder. He says, sometimes in life when you have to leave it all behind in order to have a permanent relationship with your true father, who is Hashem, Avinu Sheba Shemayim, our father was in heaven, you have to sometimes leave behind everything. And sometimes there is uncertainty. You see how unbalanced the opening of Genesis 12 is. Hashem doesn't say, you're living in a very special time where you know where the children of Israel are, you know where the holiest land is. I don't say to you that you should go to war or rip yourself out of your home. Take your time. But you do have to be prepared to be like Abraham and his wife, Sarah. You have to be prepared that your friends will be very threatened that you repented. And they will detest you more than if you became an atheist, which is crazy. It's totally crazy. If you would have told your friends, I just don't believe in God anymore, heaven forbid, they wouldn't like it at all. But to be a Jew, that's the worst thing you could have done. There's nothing more threatening to them. Because every Christian knows deep down that this is the most dangerous thing in the world. Because they know that either they're right, but if they're not right, then the Jews are right. <laughs> this is what lurks in the heart of fear in the heart of every Christian, the most insecure is to join the Jewish people. So I do say this to you. Just know that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has redeemed you from Egypt. According to his purpose and his plan, he opened your heart. And then you allowed him inside. You didn't have to. You had free will. He opened the light for you. And you opened your eyes to him. You turned your eyes to heaven. He, he gave you light in your life, and you came. But there's no guarantee at all that life is going to be certain with everything's. If you're joining the children of Israel, you have to be prepared for difficulties and challenges that the children of Israel went through during our history. In fact, the Novi, the prophets of blessed memory, talk about the, those who repent in Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8 and 9, talks about those who repent, the third of the nations that repent. I will refine them through fire. They have to go through challenges. Now, so I say to you, it's best if you can have a peaceful home. You don't have to go to war with your whole family. 
But you should know that you represent the biggest threat to the idolatry of your friends. It's the worst because you're telling them that what they believe in is a complete lie. And this is a big deal. Because if you look at the Christian Bible, and I, I want to talk about the Gospels in particular, what are the Gospels really filled with? Stories. Gospels are stories. You have almost no stories in Paul's letters. Yeah, but very little. But you have no stories of Jesus' life. The Gospels are all stories of Jesus fighting with who? Jews. <laughs> all the Gospels are just fighting, fighting, fighting against the Jews. That's all it is. Story, story, story. It's all stories. Storytelling. Storytelling time to make everyone hate the Jews, to make everyone think the Jews are the worst people in the world. And it worked. The Christians hate us, except for a few. But the, 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 Christian, the Christians hate the Jewish people. They all do. When I say all do, it means all the Christian leaders, meaning all the church fathers, they all the reformers, they all despise us. So I say, I wish you in your life, Hatzlocha, much success. Racha, much blessings in your life. Joy in your life. You should see the redemption in your life in every way, in your personal life and in your spiritual life. You should see it, and please God, you'll see it soon. And I pray that it should be easy, but you do have to prepare yourself. You have to gird your loins and be prepared to go to war for your faith. And as a person who now worships the God of Israel alone, Hopefully it won't happen, but you have to be prepared to suffer as a follower of the Jewish faith. I don't recommend it. I don't, suffering is not something that we should want. Try to avoid it. But understand that if you place your destiny with the children of Israel, you have to be ready. You have to be ready to suffer. It shouldn't happen to you. Shem should make it easy for you. And I don't recommend going to battle or fighting with family. Do what you can. Keep things easy without compromising your faith. Because you want to achieve what Abraham did. And that is God called Abraham my friend. See Isaiah 41, 8 and 9. Not many people, nobody in Tanakh. This is a very big thing to achieve. And Hashem is our family. Is it not our Father who created us? We're told in Deuteronomy, your children to the Lord your God. So therefore, put your trust in Hashem, but sometimes Hashem is going to say, it's time to go. It's time to forge a new path. That's where your true destiny is. That's where your future is. It's not in the house where you were born. It's not in the land that you lived. It's not in your father's house. It's in a new place. Hashem, that I will show you. Thank you for your question. <laughs>